what's up guys this is the Ropeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Republic of Venice and in this episode where well, the Russians think they can try and chase out of their territory well let's teach them they are horrendously wrong you need a pikeman couple of infantry a lot of cavalry and a more um and another force coming in in reserve so let's deal with them um but this is mostly a in my opinion, a, a real sideshow to the real, real nub of this campaign. And that is in the center against Prussia. So, yesterday's episode, uh, we'll have really blown a hole through their lines. I think we're in a position where we can probably attack Berlin and Dresden in the same turn. And there's nothing they can do about it, I think. It could be quite significant. So, my guns... Okay, my guns are going to trawl up onto the ground in front of us. The rest of my lines... Largely... Similar enough to form one regular line. An infantry unit in reserve. Conscripts on the right flank. Give the conscripts the pikemen, just in case they attract the... Tension of the enemy cavalry. Uh, howitzers, just open fire as you please. Well, you shouldn't really deploy them behind your guns. Because if the enemy aims at your artillery and they miss, you're giving them kind of a free opportunity to hit you. So let's run my infantry up. Get my guns up onto the ground above them. The enemy strength is on their right, is on their right and my left. Redeploy my pikes. You push up to the trees. Okay, give my quick climbing artillery new targets. Form square, the Vibuani Streltsy are coming in. Gunners and Limber, grapple shot. There you go, the enemy cavalry is committing. Let's get this regiment of line out on the right flank. And flight horse have just wandered into musket range. The Bjorni Streltsy are in bad shape. The artillery is blasting their... Blasting their air... Their infantry. Or their artillery, rather. Bring my regiment of horse in. More cavalry attacks on the left. Let's blast the line directly ahead of us. The conscripts just loading and firing as fast as they can. Square still holding. Actually, I think my cuirassier. No, my. Regiment of force to push around, Curacier. Okay, Grenadiers, get out of square. Attack the Regiment of Horse. One on the left, their cavalry is chasing us. Let's wheel our line back. They've charged our cavalry and got us to waver. Cavalry charge in. Artillery. Keep hitting the enemy. There we go. You men about face. 
reload and engage the pikemen. Because they're coming. Got a bit of reloading to do. Knock out this regiment of horse, that's what my pikemen should be going for. We're ripping through them. Excellent, pikemen get out of the way. Everyone form up and get ready to shoot the hell out of these enemy line chase the pikemen away so they could be back You're winning against the Vibioni Streltsy okay, human advance towards the skirmishes First regiment's gone. Okay, cavalry withdraw. Let's advance the line. Cavalry away, a routing. Withdraw the pikes. Retarget the artillery against the troops that are just entering the field. Cavalry's recovered. Get them both out wide on the flank. First regiment of militia is under fire. Kill the enemy general, that's always nice. Let's put a bit of a wedge in our front line. the artillery in the center. Cavalry slam into the Cossack infantry. Pikemen get ready to back them up. Bring my cavalry in because their Vibioni Streltsy have broken in the, on the flank. If you don't hit the Vibioni Streltsy, okay, let's take you guys, push them up like so. Shattered, pursue the Niv Nivzi. Nizhny Novgorod infantry. Push on and attack their militia there. Their line is under fire already. Wavering or broken? Are they gonna break? Broken. The enemy artillery. K 
kill the artillery. The enemy force has collapsed. Let's run forward to create a new line, lest they return. Artillery switch to round shot and just bombard people. Run my militia in against their melee militia. How about you? Bring them down. There we go. Could chase them down, but we actually kind of want Russia to to uh, face off against um, Sweden for us. We want them to be relatively not strong, but capable. Yeah, that's that didn't help them at all. They've only got 760 men remaining. Yeah, more than happy to take it slow around Moscow. Oh, hello. That's a bad idea. I wouldn't do that if I were you. So we're going to be going... Oh, we might be going after Genoa as well this turn. Are they going to declare on us? Very well. Our plan kicks into action. They've landed troops, a depleted number of troops, but troops all the same. They're trying to raid our trade lines. That's not going to that's not going to wash for very long. We can deal with that. So we've lost trade with Genoa. However, the garrison at Venice, with no foot artillery but lots of howitzers. Going to siege the Genoese capital. And we've also got this force to the south. That's going to take Orlando Sabatini aboard ship and attack Bastia. And that will remove um, the, the faction of Genoa from the game entirely. But before we do that, let's make sure we do some building. Economy's growing quite nicely. Baldazare attack Ust. Okay, just take it. Demolish the military. Actually, keep the military building. Really, we want to start. Okay, they do like us without the government buildings, so we can demolish these government buildings. Actually, I might keep Astrakhan as a. Governor's military governor's barracks in case we need to mass recruit some troops to defend against Dagestan. But I want to switch this out to a civil administration building. Let's maybe not upgrade that port yet. Okay, right. Before we go too mad, Signore. Ernesto, let's take some of these troops and start topping up some of the more elite formations try keep the experience high or higher at least excellence the new withdraw we need three infantry units. One, two, three. Militia units replenishing. We'll replace them with... Oh no, don't have, don't have any grenadiers actually to replace them with. We'll take the Swiss grenadiers. Can't do much about the foot artillery. Let's take our cuirassier out. And replace them with this bugged unit of hussars because we've got 225. Take out the heavy cavalry, replace them with the cuirassier because they're also bugged. We have 105. So Simone, Ferrari, your force is in reasonably good shape. So you can put Berlin under siege. 
Ernesto. Well, really, it's a push from here. I think the way we can deal with this fellow, if we attack Dresden and we take Berlin, we can maybe make peace and force this guy west. Because if we take Dario Possumato and attack Dresden, there's a lot of enemy troops to... Well, actually, there isn't that many troops, actually. Still, bring Mr. Comin up as a reinforcement. You can reinforce the Berlin attack. Got some reinforcements. 16,000. Okay, we've got a lot of battles to fight. I think the first one I'm going to do... Because I think if I drop this one, I don't necessarily get a choice. Oh, I do get a choice. Okay. So let's put the ship into port. So we did Prussia last time. Let's... Mm -hmm. Well, we've basically we fought this massive Prussia engagement. Let's keep that going. Let's take this force and engage their capital at Berlin. They don't have many troops. We should be able to take them out quite nicely. Um... Yeah, once if we can take Berlin and Dresden, we will try and make peace with them so we can take control of our new lands and drive west because Berlin has a couple of nice uh, bridges to protect the territory to the west. So we want to make sure we maximise the value we get from that. Right. Let's get cracking. I'm going to maximize my use of quick lane. Oh my god, look at my bugged heavy cavalry unit. <laughs> One unit of heavy cavalry, it's more powerful. So are the 90s? Four units of heavy cavalry in one unit. Holy moly. Protect this. Oh, you're not hiding. Just do something like this. Get a hole in the wall. Oh, it says... Quick climb their mortars. Kill their crews. Speed up time, really, because we're just going to let the artillery do their work. Going to knock down that section of the wall quite quickly. So you think, in terms of the speed, we fired off three three volleys from 12 pounders in the space it takes to fire off two quick climb shots. And they're still manning all their guns, even with only five people. You stay there, Grenadier Guard, you're going to get shot at. Really, that's enough for them. Let's advance the line. Put artillery engage this section. So it looks like we have quick climbing. If the if the shells explode in the right spot, they will affect these guys. 
Okay, there we go. Now they're firing, so start running. See if we can dodge their first shells. Yeah, we can get them. Sweet. So they're going to keep firing. Keeping you guys keep engaging that section of the wall. There we go. So I want to see if I can get one good quick climb and get start off against this garrison line. Although ultimately we are going to have more success pushing the right. So Swiss, some Swiss Grenadiers get the gate, cover that. Something like this. Ish. So you want to scale the wall on the right. Yeah, militia, everyone push up the right flank. Same with the cavalry. Want marines to sit up here. Marines will sit up here to block people that want to run up here and stop us. Swiss Grenadiers, they're going to sit in front of the gatehouse and defend against attacks from there. Showing my carabiner fire a little off. I mean, their mortars have killed, they've, they've done en enough damage has been done to them. Ultimately, if you get into position, Hoggle Pike Wall. So if they come out, they're not looking to go in. Grenadiers, get up on the wall as well. about to capture this gatehouse so they're not going to be able to run out anyway. Now they want to come up and attack us off the wall. God, this feels like bullying. Oh my god. Yeah, the cavalry's come out of the wall, but they ran into the pike wall. Now it says, switch to round shot, attack the first regiment of foot. Pikemen, get in there. Cavalry, get in there. Marines, get up there. Fire will off. Marines push the provincial line. No, don't shoot them. 
you make it in here and kill this mortar officer. It's got to be their general or their commander. Got him. Carabiner. Get up on the square. Skirmishers cover the walls. Okay, you men. Hey. Engage these fellows. What are they doing out here? Make take up position behind the men in the, in the breach. Swiss grenadiers charging the back of the militia. Seems to take them a hot minute to work it out. There we go. No. The officers worked it out. Run these troops in. There's only one man in the breach. run one of these guys up the wall push forward run you man in through this breach come on there's one man one lone Prussian infantryman the officer got him Good show, old boy. Get to that central section. Come on, these beautiful grenadiers. Bayonet charge. There we go. The city is taken. First regiment is standing firm. There they go. So the fortress of Berlin is taken. The city itself is over in the distance. But Berlin is ours. The greater battle will be the Battle of Dresden. But first we need to take this city into our Strength, so let's get rid of you. Set the army to replenish. Repair the city's facilities. My general over here. See if you can. Oh, you can't really assassinate anyone useful. Try kill Erdman Bauer. Nope, missed him. Don't worry, we'll come for you soon. Oh, if if, if uh, Württemberg joined the action, that would be great, but I don't think they will. I think if we attack Dresden, yeah, the only allies we can count on <laughs> are ourselves. But yeah, one large army, reinforcements that are pretty knackered, plus a cluster of other troops. I think if we if we smash them enough here, we can make them. We can achieve peace, <coughs> reinforce the Western Front, then we can attack Sweden across the Black Sea. Baltic Sea, rather. Not the, not the Black Sea. But yeah, then we can attack Sweden. We could potentially attack St. Petersburg, cut off their reinforcements into Russia from the north. And then that leaves our armies well placed to tidy up Russia itself. I think that will be a good option. Taking a whole, attacking the town. We're going to want to push the the right flank. 
I want to get up here. But trouble is, that's where they probably will be. There's a marginal bit of high ground at the back. Got some bugged um, line infantry. That's pretty nice. You men could stay on the left. Fusiliers join the main line. Cavalry get ready to storm up ahead. Howitzers can engage. Get my bunch of my line to run up. My line infantry guards or my portion of my infantry can advance into the, the, the edges of the city. You guys limber up. Don't worry about their artillery. Well, they got mortar battery actually. Let's try and clear some of their artillery out. artillery in order to get all the way up here. It would take them a long time. Actually, let's get... No, yeah, we'll be okay. Okay, we've done a lot of damage to their mortar battery. So we're holding the, the boundary, the border of the town. Let's give new orders. Okay, you men, make ready and fire. I know you're tired. charging through the town. Both of you guys form square. That'll defeat the regiment of horse. Grenadier guards have been killed. Keep the cavalry moving. As long as the square holds firm. Advance here. Enemy reinforcements coming in on the right. Just keep using our quick line to knock a hole through the center. They're doing the same to us. Holding the square. We're winning decisively, but they're losing a lot of men now. A 
line infantry guards have been hit. Marines push forward against the expat infantry. The regiment of horse have been broken. Try to see if we can get this this infantry unit into the into this building to fire on everyone around them. More enemy artillery effect. We need to take this main hill. Okay, so the Marines and the Line Infantry Guards. Still taking hits, but we have created an opening. You run through the stakes against the 12 pounder howitzer. God, coming in from the left now. Come on, you men both attack those dragoons. Okay, we need to pushing to clear out the artillery firing areas. Quick climb. Okay, both these units drop into squares. Great. We can push up to the top of the high ground. You're popping off shots at everybody. Killed enemy general, that's always nice. Regiment of horse scampering around, they got a bit of cover. Artillery, foot artillery is going to be useless. Okay, you men pivot to engage that garrison guard unit. These men advance to hold the high ground at the top of the town. So you guys just hold your squares. Where are the gunners? The gunners are still manning their positions. One cav unit and carry on the charge, the others tank the howitzers because they're just firing without their artillery pieces. Shattered, great. Okay, more enemy reinforcements coming in. Okay, 
25th regiments are upset. Okay, let's reinforce the town. Get in the position where we can get the cavalry advancing into it. Really badly laid out, but that's what we're going to do. These units form into locking squares. Charge the light horse. Locking squares is going to work. Something like this. to get a new pick these new uh, new windows these dragoons are advancing get my cavalry to smack the light infantry Advance the line up. Okay, you men form up. If they push down through this area, we'll tear them up. you guys that's where I want you to end up whether or not you'll get there is another question they're shattered push my cavalry through Town center. Maybe you men engage the twenty eight. Nice. Something like this. Okay, you might form up like so, to fire over the Marines' heads. Positioned badly. There we go. Now my fusiliers are firing over the heads of my marines at the mercenaries.
Excellent. Yeah, they're routing, that's great. Excellent. This infantry is in position, but they're not going to do. They're not going to be able to help. Let's go kill that heavy artillery. To be honest, you're in a position to do stuff where you are now. Go on, my regiment. Excellent. Advance. You move up, fire it all off. Okay, I need to get my cavalry I really need, to, need it just to gun it along the edge of the map back to my line. Excellent. Let's push the enemy, enemy forces out of the town. Let's cease fire guns. It's just hit the farmhouse. This is a limber. Oh, they're running. The foot guards are running. The militia are to go down. There they go. Excellent, so you men. Ooh, make sure you guys are being careful with your quick line, but for the most part, all these men in the town push through and out. You men kill the Mountain Jaeger, there's only 17 of them. Very foolish of them to charge into melee combat. Yep, there they go. Cease the quick line fire. Bayonet charge. So we fought our way all the way around the map. Up, around here, through the town proper multi-stage battle. Fun. There you go, now the militia are engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're going down thick and fast. Very, very foolish. Although they keep dipping to wavering, then they come back. Take everything that isn't cavalry, form them up. Let's see, you have garrison guards. Speed up time on this one because they're probably going to break pretty rapidly. Yeah, there they go. Let's end the battle there. Let's, let's, we've, we've beaten them. They've been well and truly smacked, and I imagine they will take peace after this. Back you go. Back you go. Back you go. 
And you. So technically we won, but I'm going to carry on carry on with this campaign because I'm really digging playing as Venice. Uh, mission. And we're already holding a vote for Grand Columbia anyway. So we don't need to start two right next to each other. Prussia. Press peace. We did it. Sweet. Let's trade with them. Hey, they went for it. I mean, they hate us still, but they went for it. So now Luca... Right, so I want you, Ernesto, get up to this bridge, Luca, get up to this bridge, let's get Saxony repaired, get the army replenished, as much as we can. Okay, let's pull the conscripts out of this army. Put them into Prague. You have to figure out what we want to do with you. And obviously you've got this force at Breslau. They can now leave Breslau. And probably reinforce the direct road to Brandenburg. So they hate us, but once we get rid of the university, that will effectively solve the problem. Um, we're going to want to build... Oh yeah, Dresden also has, got, has a university. Let's get rid of that. And the College of Divinity. We're going to get rid of that. Great. Still laying siege to Konigsberg, but we don't have to attack Russia. You've got troops nearby that can deal with you, should the need be felt. Let's move you towards Moscow. And you, you can't replenish, but you can advance towards Moscow. Then, before we do anything else, we're going to want to fight both these battles. Let's go and attack Genoa. We have no foot artillery, but we've got more than enough artillery to make a breach. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Genoese faction. Cheers, everyone.